What's up guys, Teach Me Grappling, Brian Peterson. I'm back and now we finally get to our day where we get to do the raffle. So I know you guys are super suspense, suspense, uh, in suspense and I'm gonna start this all over because I don't know how to use my English words. Just keep it rolling. No, just keep it rolling. I'll cut it out. What's up guys, Teach Me Grappling. I'm back, Brian Peterson. And today we get to do the t-shirt and rash guard raffle for Teach Me Grappling. All of you Patreon supporters, all of you guys that are helping out this channel and contributing, we're gonna be doing this raffle to see who won. Remember, if it was $9 or less, you went into the t-shirt raffle. And if you donated $10 or more towards this channel, you went in for a rash guard like what I'm wearing right now. Okay, again, check out the t-shirt right here. Okay, got the t-shirt, it's pretty sweet. T-shirt, um, got sub only on the, sh on the shoulder or the down the sleeve. And then the back, it's got the California highway symbol right there. Try to pull that out for you. Right there, looks pretty sweet. Just like that. Um, I'd like to show you guys this shirt as well. This is the shirt that goes out to the patrons that donated $25 or more. They get a t-shirt just for donating $25 or more, sub only. And then they've got Grappler's Way of Life on the back of the shirt. Okay, right there, Grappler's Way of Life. Nice. Both of these shirts are, are uh, very nice. They're 50% uh, roughly, 50% cotton, 50% poly. Super soft shirts, nice. Great for wearing out. Okay, so first one I'm gonna do is, this looks like the t-shirt raffle. So I've got everybody's names right here. Okay, I don't need to show you guys all the names, but uh, they're there, they're in there. So if you're on camera right now, you can feel really special. You're gonna go in, got everybody in there, and it's time to shake you guys up. I'm gonna look at it right now, okay? So you guys can see. And then I gotta look away, or I don't know if I should have somebody else do it. Is it right if I do it? Yeah. I'm gonna look away, feel in here. I'm looking at the camera. And the person is, who is that? Who is that? It's upside down. Ian Banks, Ian Banks donated $1 and he just won a t-shirt. Ian Banks, if you go out there, I'm gonna be sending you an email real soon and you just won this t-shirt right here for your donation to Teach Me Grappling. Thank you so much. Awesome, I'm excited. Ian Betts, that goes to you right there. All right, sorry guys, the rest of you. You're going in the trash for now, okay? Next, I've got all the ladies and gentlemen that were $10 or more, much less, much less patrons right here. This is all you guys. Can you guys see your names? Sean's all excited, Rob, you ready to go? All right, you guys are going in. Okay, shaking you guys up. You guys are like, this is ridiculous, just pull it out. Okay, not looking. Okay, Let me grab someone. Who do I have? Who's that? Oh, Matthew Vanderlip. Oh my goodness, Matthew Vanderlip. You just won. I think Matthew Vanderlip, you're from like my town. I think you're like right down the street, bro. You just won a rash guard, dude. You're not the one that bought one. No, 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 I was gonna send you a t-shirt. That's right, so I owe you a sub only shirt and I owe you a rash guard now. I'm gonna send them together. So Matthew Vanderlip, with your $25 donation, you just won a rash guard. You're, you're coming up, okay? Thank you guys so much, that was the, uh, so this is gonna go with a rash card. Guys, when I email uh, Ian Beggs and also Matthew, I need to know your size. So you guys, that's what you need to let me know. I'll be messaging you guys tonight. Send me your size and then I'm gonna try to get you your stuff. Um, when it comes to rash cards, I might be out on a few different sizes depending on what Matthew wants. I will be getting new ones in very shortly. So we'll get it out to you. Thank you. Now it's time to show you guys technique. So can I get uh, Maddie? Come on out. Okay. Come on out right here. All right. 
we had a request, and now I'm not prepared. I don't remember his name. He's one of our supporters, contributed to the channel, at least he told me. Um, so he wanted to know about a north-south choke. So we're gonna show you guys the north-south choke. Um, I'm gonna give you guys my favorite setup for the north-south choke, So, which is a Kumar. So go ahead and lay your back. I go to the north-south choke a lot my, myself. It's one of my best moves that I, I really like to do, but I would like to show you, I will go for it at any time that I can get the neck. So the basics of the north-south choke, when I'm in side control, okay, the guy, especially if the guy's turning towards me and he's lifting his head, I want my hand to punch around like in wrestling what's called a deep half Nelson. I want to wrap around, okay? And as I wrap around, I'm going to bring this hand over here and I'm going to start moving towards the head. Okay, now go ahead and move around, John, so you can see the angles. Okay, this is basically it. Okay, but then I'm going to show the setup afterward. Always what I want to do is I want to move down low, as low as I can, widen up my feet, okay? We have that, uh, that beeping stopwatch. <laughs> so I want to move my feet in this direction towards that way. So I turn his face. So John, you have to go around and look at his face. Okay. See how my left elbow is on the mat? So now what I want to do is I want to move this way on my toes as I'm staying very low, and I want to turn his face. Once I turn his face, I go far. Look at my toes. See how I moved a little bit? Then I go back into his face, and I go again. And now I'm getting so low profile, I haven't locked my hands. Now you can move around, John. Over here to where the lock is. Right now, man, he's kind of like going, oh shit, it's coming on. So I have not squeezed yet. I'm relaxed. I don't squeeze my muscles. I stay loose and relaxed. During this time, if the guy's moving side to side, he can't go anywhere. His head is stuck and he can't go anywhere. Okay, then I'm gonna push towards him one last time to get him to go as, see how it lifts his shoulder? Then my right hand goes palm up. Palm up and left palm down, and I make a deep gable grip. Not just a, a shallow one, I go deep to my wrists. Like what's called a, a butterfly lock. I drop down now, lower myself a little bit more, and then now I squeeze my muscles. So go look at my biceps, John. Obviously, you're gonna see how massive they look. Just kidding. I squeeze my, my biceps, and we get the tap right there. So look at my lock, right there. See how deep I try to walk. This is good. I try to go even deeper if I can. Now, we should give you guys the setup. I'm gonna show you also in two and one, we're gonna talk about the defense. Remember, the, what the guy wants to do is he always wants to look towards you. If he can look towards you when you do this, you see, look at my rib cage, okay? Right now my ribs are going into his face and it's making him look towards the floor. That's not right. So I don't want him to look, to look towards me. So when I drop my body, I'm gonna make my ribs go into his chin. And now, I'm sorry Manny, but this is what it's like. Watch this. I've made contact with his chin. Now try to look down, Manny. See what's happening? Now watch, I'm gonna push towards him and it's gonna make Manny look up. It's very vicious to do. One thing that somebody complains about when they first learn the north-south choke is they go, what do you do when their jaw goes into your ribs and it hurts? And my reply to them is, their jaw is gonna take the pain a lot more than my ribs. Everybody thinks that this is hard and this is weak. It's not. If you push your rib cage into their jaw, you will force them to either look up or down, one or the other. And our goal with the North South Choke is to make them look up. So. So the true defense is more he has to do with his hands. He has to keep his hands like this protecting his neck. If his hands are not protecting his neck and I'm able to do this, it's not completely done. I mean, I haven't submitted him yet, but if he looks to his right, watch, look over there, John, go around. Look at what my ribs are gonna do. It's very hard for him to continue to look, like try to face the floor, try to turn more on your side. Look what my ribs are doing. See that? It makes him look up. And then now that I'm here, I'm lowering myself, moving him, lowering myself, moving him, lowering myself, moving him, until now, can you guys see, can you see where the lock is? Oh. 
until now that I've done this, see how I push his jaw? I can bring my hands together. This is the lock I prefer. I'm gonna give you also the variation. Uh, Jeff Monson. This, by the way, the north-south choke used to be called the Monson choke. Some people probably still call it that because Jeff Monson was one of the most popular guys really bringing it to the scene before Marcelo Garcia. Marcelo Garcia is the man, but Jeff Monson was actually doing it a lot before and they used to call this the Monson choke in the older days. So you can also do this variation, watch. I bring my hand on my bicep, tricep, and then now watch, I'm gonna scoop up his head. So run around to the other side, John. I'm gonna lift, see how I lifted his head? Now my hand goes to my elbow, and then now I have both hands squeezing as I drop down, and I squeeze, I'm sorry about that, man. Look at this, okay? Now, if you look at this lock, look at how high my, my radial bone is. It goes up, so instead of being like this, where it's here, and I'm squeezing like this, it raises this wall right here up on the back of his neck and it makes it really intense. So for those of you guys, maybe you haven't seen this variation, um, try it and then, um, I don't use it to be honest very often. I do use it because I know it, but I'm, most of the time I still prefer this, but some of you guys might like this. This is more like what I learned from Jeff Monson. So, um, okay, so now here's the setup. I know this is a long video and I'm teaching very slow tonight. It may just be my mood. Okay, so when I'm here, what I want to do is I want to attack a Kimura, okay? So when I'm here, I'm controlling the guy in side control, and then let's say, for example, this is one of my favorite setups for, for the Kimura, especially lately. I bring my hand over like I want to get like here, because I want to control the guy's arm. And the guy starts to pummel. So I made a little too much space, and the guy swings his hand in front, and he starts to pummel. See as he starts to pummel, see his arm? So what I'm going to do now, is I'm gonna bring my body, I'm gonna drop my left hip and swing my left elbow all the way over. So he's cupping my back, I push against his leg like this, and I bring my left elbow here, okay? And I turn my body like so, look at my body. I turn back as I go for his wrist. You feel all that pressure? Look, my elbow's here, and I grab his wrist. He tries to throw me this way, go ahead. I can base with my foot, and look what he's giving me and I lock the Kimura, okay? As I do this, I don't want him to get up. If he goes to his knees, then I gotta play Kimura games and try to flip him back. I try to get it and then just bring it right back, okay? So I'm just showing you an, uh, maybe a non-traditional entry. So I could have just said, all right guys, you get here and you do a Kimura, right? But instead I'm giving you guys a competitive setup. The guy pummels his arm, okay? I'm gonna bring my elbow here and I'm gonna turn my body. See how I turn? As I do this, I access his wrist. Because if I stay like this and he gets a good underhook, I can't push his wrist. And reaching back can be dangerous. So instead, I turn my body. I turn like as if I'm letting him roll me. Like do a bridge. Like see he bridges and now I lock it. And then now once I lock it, he exposes his arm, he's trying to get back up and I put, put it back putting him back on his back. Next, you get the guy who's Mr. I'm good at Kimura defense, and he swings his legs towards me, and then grabs his inner thigh. Beautiful. Now I can't get him. Or he locks his hands. No, yeah, you just lock in front. Yeah, I like that. Look, either one. So what do I do next? Look, guys, I, I, like, I like to have a thumb grip right here because I'm really good at holding it. I bring my hand back to the north-south choke. Because both arms are now uh, uh, defending down low. Look at my hand. I sweep my hand, and leave your head on the ground. I move his head to the side, and my hand moves around like so. Look, even try to keep your head connected. Look, I move his head, and it sneaks under his neck. Next, toes. You see my toes, look. In steps, toes. Now he's trying to look to the side, he can't. I push my rib cage, and then I'm flat. I'm laying down on my quads with wide feet so you don't have a crazy bridge guy. Look at my right hand, still on the Kimura. So if he's trying to fight me with his hands, I'm also defending his moves. If he stretches his arm way over there, I'll let it go. 
But if he tries to turn on his side this way, I'm pushing with the Kimura, Kimura wrist. As I do my movement, I'll let go when I have to, and I'll lock my hands. Or you can lock like this, or like I showed you before, you could drive his face this way, go deep, and then lift his head up and grab right here. Monson style, and then drop down and squeeze, okay? This variation is crazy tight, okay? I'm so excited now after teaching you right now, I'm thinking, why don't I do that more often? So, I usually just stop with this one and I finish it. So, last time, I know this is a long video, guys, I know, you can always fast forward, but for those of you guys that really need the details, you're, you guys are beginners and you need to learn this stuff, just go ahead and, and, and soak it up. I'm right here, maybe I have the underhook, the guy tries to pummel, and I give him a little too much space, I'm swinging my hand over, I feel it, so since I'm gonna bring my hand to this side anyway, look, he's trying to bridge a movie, so I just go right here. See that? And that's how I get to his underhook arm. Look at my weight distribution. Remember, even if he's crazy with his bridge, you can base with this leg. Like, kind of throw me, throw me in that way. See, I can base with that leg. Now I can lock it. Try not to let him up. Go to your knees. Put it behind his back. Put him back. Now he goes to defense. You guys see how he's ready to defend? Now what do I do? He's gonna defend, so I get my thumb on this Kimura grip, because I usually don't do thumbs on Kimuras. Thumb grip, push, and right there. Scoop up that head, okay? I don't care how much he tries to put his head on the mat, I'm, my elbow is gonna go like that, I'm gonna get it. Then I'm gonna slide down and smash his face, slide down and smash his face this way, slide down, slide down, and then when I'm ready, smash his face one last time, so I can access the lock. Remember that. If he turns into you, you'll find, keep turning to your right. Yeah, like that. You might go, I can't get my hands locked. It's really hard, you feel like he's gonna slip. Just push him and lock. Then now once you're here, keep your head tight. Don't allow space so he can't frame your neck. I don't want him to frame like that. If he locks the frame, he'll push the hands into your neck and create space, not this one. If he does this one, push with this one. I'll push it to the side and I'll still choke him. If he uses the other hand, I can't really deflect that one. Lock your hands and push, push. And you see his head get out. Now I have to change and go for something else. Now I'm here, I can make a drill out of this, right? Push it back down, he goes back towards his back. He's grabbing his inner thigh, grabs or he locks his hands, one or the other, and I go again. I get my hand around the neck, sinking down, sinking down, sinking down, and then drive, lift, lock, and now I'll go monster. Here, lift the other side, and go. Okay? All right? I think that was long enough. Thank you guys so much. I'm sorry, I know I have lots of you guys that, that don't want me to teach for so long, you want my videos to be quicker, and I can't seem to follow that advice. Um, there's lots more people that would like the, the uh, details. For those of you guys that, you know, I know you have a, like, you want it like really quick, just fast forward. I'm sorry guys, hope you guys learned something today and thank you guys so much to, uh, congratulations to the people that won the raffle, t-shirt and rash guard. Thank you guys, again, the month of September, we're gonna be doing it again. I might even be giving out two. So my goal is to give out two rash guards, two t-shirts. So thank you guys so much, we're gonna try and add even more. Please, click the link down at Patreon, share it, subscribe, like it, do all that good stuff and then contribute to the channel and I'll keep bringing you guys this stuff. Thank you guys so much. Thank you.